grabbed it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get you know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP. All the subscribers and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, man, because without y'all, there really is no us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are the ones who talk, who watch, who subscribe, who comment, who keep us in your thoughts and prayers. You know what I'm saying? It's been a very very, very interesting week, you know what I'm saying? Besides <laughs> all of the foolishness, uh, man, these pussy niggas putting money on my head. Go and get your refund, motherfucker, I ain't dead. Go and get your refund, motherfucker, I ain't dead. Go get your refund, nigga. Um, besides all of that, man, it's been some battles and like battle rap shit that's been actually going on, because you know what I'm saying? It's rare that a lot of times people just try to throw you off your square, you know what I'm saying? That's what happens. And you gotta understand, a lot of people commended the way I handled it, you know what I'm saying? And it's done now, you know what I mean? But it's just one of those unfortunate things, you know what I'm saying? But the, the offer is still up. Y'all can still play it. Play it, don't say it. Play it, don't say it. That shit is crazy, man. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish death upon me. I understand why. But please do not try. Let's keep it moving. So, um... You had the, the uh, big the Big Ten championship go down last night. Shout out to the Michigan Wolverines. Shout out to the boys. Shout out to the boys for getting that thing done. FSU, Florida State, AJ Tuck, you want some? You want some? Do you want some? You get your issue too. You seen what I did with them last niggas? Did you see what I did with them? All right then, you can come get your issue too. Shout out to my man Jay Tuck. Uh, shout out to uh, Turnover on Buffs. Uh, it feels good to be number one, and it's a great week to get the number one. You know what I'm saying? Because I was at some number. I was in the number two slot. You know what I'm saying? It was a great week to one up. You know what I'm saying? It was a great. But I want. I want to get to the topics, man. Um, like I said, I am very appreciative of all the people who support, all the people say, yo, keep your head up. They was, they was telling me to keep my head up, stay strong. Like I, like I was dying or something. I'm like, man, I'm chilling, man. Life is good, man. Uh, my kids like knocked down my camera yesterday, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm about to get a new camera. But you know, things is great, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing well, you know what I'm saying? I've been working out, I'm about to leave here, go to the gym. Uh, the heat ruined my parlay last night, but I'm gonna put some NFL ones in today. And just, just, just everything is lovely, man. But uh. You know, that's, 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 that's what's up with me. You know what I'm saying? I even heard, I heard I was 44, 43 or whatever. I'm actually 55, you know what I'm saying? Uh, guys, guys, I'm 55, you know what I mean? The reason why I'm 55, because that's the same amount of years it's going to take the people who want to do all of this extra shit down to catch me. It is yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! take them that amount of time. However many years they say I have is the amount of years it'll take them to do these views. Now, moving on, man. Um, Charlie Clips, yo. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> There's so many different levels and different ways I want to speak about this because, like, I, I, I've mentioned this in mad different battles before. I said the first, I mean mad different blogs before. The first blog I ever made was called Charlie Clips is Ruining Battle Rap. Get debatable to try to make it seem like he might, no, no, no. He fucking lost. It was horrible. Did like 5,000 views, like the views niggas still can't do that. <laughs> this was like seven years ago, right? Um, so, Six, seven years ago. And it was talking about when Charlie Clips was battling Rum Nitty, he was freestyling, just rapping a bunch of random bullshit. It was like, bro, excuse me. It was like, bro, what are you doing? You're wasting your time, you're wasting your talent. And I thought Charlie Clips and still think to this day, he's one of the most talented battle rappers when he wants to be. So, 
When I heard about him doing a rooftop battle, I thought to myself, that could be something that could help, you know, with you know with the legacy and things like that. You know, everybody wants a rooftop battle. The rooftop is damn near the Rucker Park or the Madison Square Garden of Battle Rap. Everybody has a sacred battle there. When you think of some of the classic joints, uh, Emerson Kennedy versus QP was up there, Quantum Physics. Bro, they was about to start booking the nigga Quantum when he battled. They want, people were wanting to see him. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, you know what I'm saying? He do his thing, you know what I'm saying, as far as with the raps and shit. And I know we be going back and forth and all of that, but it ain't really nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? It be some battle rap shit. Like, you don't show up to an event, I'm going to talk about it. You no show an online battle, I'm going to talk about it. You fucking got some shit going on, I'm going to, it's what I do, you know what I'm saying? I talk about the news, then they get mad, so whatever. But, so Quantum Physics had a really good battle on the roof, right? Versus Emerson Kennedy. B that had a legendary battle on the roof. B Magic in the middle of everything B Magic ever B Magic had a fucking magical battle on the roof. Yeah. You got had a battle on the roof. Charlie Clip, I mean, um, uh, Chilla Jones. And I'm not talking, I, mean, I know it's different leagues and stuff. But RBE is bringing a rooftop theme. Jag versus Arsenal went down. Pretty good battle, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, uh, Arsenal got that one because Arsenal, you know, he was more aggressive and he was like really in that bag and he has a couple good pockets. Jag wasn't bad up there, but it didn't diminish from the rooftop battle and brand. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't diminish. Like my thing is this, if you're not going to add anything, at least don't take nothing away. Clips, Jesus Christ. What? If you're not going to add nothing, don't take nothing away. Like you leave. I'm like, oh. Um... <laughs> when you leave. When you leave that stain on the roof, you taint what goes on after that. But you're not the only one with fault. ARP, I'm going I'm to I'm talk about where you at fault too in a second. But So Charlie Clips goes up on this rooftop, bro. This is now called the spoof on the roof. You know, you got the Malice at the Palace when um, Auburn Hills, when the Detroit Pistons got it rocking with the Indiana Pacers, uh, Jermaine O'Neal, Sly, you know, Ron Artest, bing and bing with the crowd, Steven Jackson, y'all remember, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm grandpa, you know what I'm saying? Grandpa, I remember. Yes, like, some of y'all might not remember. Y'all might not be 55 where you could be remembering, you know what I'm saying, back in the days when them type of things happened. But um, I'm watching this joint, the spoof on the roof, and I'm like, oh, no, uh-uh. Once Charlie Clip start dissing, the homosexual that was with, uh, and no disrespect to, you know what I'm saying, any gays, lesbians, things like that. I'm just letting y'all know, you know what I'm saying, the, the individual that, the gay individual that was up there with QB. Once he starts shooting at him in the beginning of the round, I said, we got some bullshit. We got a full clip of bullshit. Dude, we got a full clip of bullshit. Like, I already tell you right now, Charlie, you want to battle easy, too? You want to battle easy? Huh? You want to battle easy with that bullshit? Bullshit? B -b 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 bullshit? 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 That was some bullshit you pulled up on that roof, nigga. What the, f what was that? On a Sunday, my nigga, you should, oh no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. This is a spoof on the roof. I start watching this battle. This nigga didn't write a single bar down. He didn't write nothing. He don't, it don't sound like he wrote nothing. ARP, what did you pay this nigga to go all the way to LA and do that? I could have went to L.A. And, and did better than that. I definitely could have went to L.A. and had some better shit than that. Me versus SP or something like that. You know, me having a friendly joint with Danny Myers. That's about all I'd ever do. But that was a waste of time. That was waste of fucking time, man. And then he's up there doing this Dear Dyke poem that he doesn't even remember. This nigga don't even remember the fucking... He don't even remember the poem. No, I'm not good. What he... Didn't I tell you? You got a hard head, huh? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Every time you, you play against me to strap your shoes up. Didn't I tell you? That's what Luca Dodges does to the Clippers he went every <laughs> single time. Yeah, not only are you up here bullshitting, you don't even remember the fucking poem? It's called Dead Dyke. Oh, uh, 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 um. <laughs> um, like, I know that little pussy is airtight. Do you really think you could get that girl pregnant? Yeah, right. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> dead dyke, dead dyke. I'm sure you eat pussy and give a bitch chills. Then you got the nerve to lean over and ask how that dick feel. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like, disrespect. 
Dead Dyke. Like, is this nigga kidding me, son? He's not kidding. He's, he's playing. He is playing. You know what? The nigga, I know what it is, right? The nigga Charlie Clips, right? He went from URL. He took them text messages from Python. And uh, he went to sabotage one event. So now he doing another favor to sabotage the event. This nigga Charlie, Charlie Clips an op? Is he an op? Is he an op? Is, yo, ARP, you might have to throw water on this nigga. You might have, this nigga right here may be, he may be, he may be an op. <laughs> My nigga Clips is moving like an op, though. There ain't no fucking way he take you serious and he pull some bullshit like that. And then the nigga didn't even remember the poem. How the nigga don't remember the poem? He wrote it, or did you not? Oh my. The nigga pulled out the phone. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. He pulls out the fucking phone. The nigga's reading the poem off the phone, my nigga. This nigga's doing spoken word night now. This nigga's literally reading. I said, I can't believe this shit. This nigga, yo, you got whole write-ups on you from Let's Talk Battle Rap, my nigga. Shout out to Let's Talk Battle Rap. Let me go find, my nigga, you have a whole, there's no reason why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cock the Desi spray. I'm going to take my time with this shit. I hope y'all watch it anyway, man. This nigga has a whole article, and I'm going to read it because I feel like reading. Shout out to Let's Talk Battle Rap and everything that they do. You know what I'm saying? Let's Talk Battle Rap is a good, reputable source of media. You know what I'm saying? They do their thing. They don't be out here lying on niggas. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of shit that I like right here. You know what I'm saying? Cause, and then, it, mind you, it's just me. It's still just me. It's still just me. Round up 50 of them. I'll be right here. Just me, motherfucker. Now, let's keep going. And why would you even put me in a position to be able to talk like this? <laughs> Play it, nigga. Let's get to it. So, he says, uh, an all-time great and one of our legends reading a round off his phone is unacceptable. In the most recent showing against QB Black Diamond on RBE's Full Circle event, Clips has a various segment of freestyle moments of cringe material and an unplayable poem called Dear Dyke which he couldn't even take the time to fucking memorize. I just said this. He couldn't take the time to memorize, not even if they paid him to. Oh, wait, he was paid. And Clips decides to read the poem off his phone in the third round. His neglect of preparation is like embarking on a journey without a, without a map and making humor of self-inflicted damage of getting lost along travel. Everyone who is on the journey with him is frustrated at the distance increasing to the destination. So he's the type of nigga that instead of going to the pinky to the thumb, he got to go all the way around the fucking elbow, basically, is what he's saying, right? That's just to break it down in layman's terms. In a gardener, imagine a gardener who is tasked with cultivating a vibrant, lush garden. However, of tending to the soil and carefully planting seeds and nurturing the plants, they merely scatter a few seeds on the ground and hope for the best. <laughs> this is great. This is great. This is great. Let's talk about it, right? Whoever's writing this shit, it's amazing. Make Write an article about them niggas lying on me and put that shit out. And make sure you use the same great verbiage. Uh, so he says, uh, so instead of clips getting a shovel and digging in the dirt, he sprinkles a few seeds on the top of the dirt and just hopes for fucking... <laughs> oh, shit! They water the garden sporadically, neglecting to remove weeds and proper care. As a result, the garden struggles to thrive, and the beauty it could have showcased remains stifled by the lack of attention and effort. In the same may way, someone giving minimal effort towards their job may find that the work environment doesn't flourish. The people revolving around it can be affected, and the potential for success and accomplishment is overshadowed by neglect. Wow. This is crazy, son. You got a whole write-up for your battle. That doesn't alarm you? Is that not alarming, Prince Charming? That you have a write-up and it's not in a good way? Because you literally went up there and, and, and dropped that on the roof, a sacred place? Now you ruin QB's chances for winning Battle of the Year. Because even one of her most important battles, you're the biggest name on her resume, and you go up there and drop the ball. Then, like, you keep, like, the thing is, bro, like I said, if you're not adding the battle rap, don't take away from it, my nigga. When you did that shit with Rosenberg Raw, exposing his text messages from this nigga, he ain't get booked to be on Max out. Now, he got to host the shit with me. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, because, I mean, it's me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I mean, it's just saying, it took 15 niggas to do nothing with me. So, I mean, and they still making calls. I heard about it. <laughs> None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious, too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, 
you, you, you're taking away. You know what I'm saying? You're not adding to the infrastructure in the future of successive battle rap, and I really mean this. You know what I'm saying? I like Charlie Clips uh, as, as from his legendary perspective, but this is an ultimate file from a legend, my nigga. But I gotta turn the uh, turn it to ARP. You, why would you even book this nigga to go to LA unsupervised? <laughs> Listen. I got a 13 year old, right? Since all these niggas, they love to try to find out anything about me and shit. That's how you know niggas hate, it, bro. They want to find out where you live, your name, your mama name, your grandmama name, how many kids you got, your boo boo boo. Like, come on, my nigga. It's only three feet, I promise you. It's only three feet. It's only, might be two and a half feet, you know what I'm saying? It's two and a half feet. From my dick to the floor, my nigga. Like, golly, hop off, bro. I don't care about you. <laughs> so, um,. If I got if I gotta go to the store right quick, right? I can go to the store, I can come back, she's good, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to take her if she wants to come with me, she'll come to the store, but she don't have to, right? If I'm going to Vegas, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave a 13-year-old home by herself, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I think you're smarter than that to know that you can't send this nigga all the way to LA unsupervised to think that he's just gonna do his thing. And he was, when he, what he was talking about, he was like, oh, it's got a viral moment. It's a viral moment, all right? <laughs> it's a viral moment, man. But it's not in a good way. I hope I'm still hoping hosting the next Max out of shit because I'm just keeping it a thousand. You know this was not a good look. And then he kissed her. Dog, we still, oh my God, we literally are just coming out of COVID. COVID was like right up the street, my nigga. I don't want nobody that I don't know, opposite sex, female or nothing, putting their mouth on me, bro. Like, you eat with that. You, you, you talk out of that. I don't want nobody's mouth on me. She almost ran out the building and jumped off the fucking roof, bro. The spoof on the roof. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, what is going on with this shit right here? And please don't diss me in the battle or nothing coming up, my brother. I'm just calling it like it is, my nigga. That type of performance is not it, bro. It ain't, it is not, no, 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 brother, uh-uh. What the hell? And AR, you just taking down the value of, you brought down the property value. Charlie Clips brought down the property value of the roof. Cause now niggas like, oh man, that's what they doing up there? Nigga pulled out a phone on the fucking roof. I would throw my chair, but my, like I said, my kid already knocked my camera over, so I ain't fucking with it. But the nigga pulled out a phone he did one of the worst things in battle rap in one of the most sacred places. That's like smoke sparking up a fucking blunt at Heaven's Gate, my nigga. Like, golly, you. <laughs> my nigga pulled out a phone on the roof, my nigga. Oh my God. Yo, this is crazy. Shout out to Charlie Clips, man. Wow. Make this money, take this money. Ain't no way you can take this from me. That is fucking crazy. I watched that shit. I said, oh my God. In the back of my mind, I started coaching him. I said, put that goddamn phone away, my nigga. No, no, no. Put them text messages that them niggas sent you away too. We ain't doing no chatty patty shit. Put them fucking text messages from Python away. Python. Put them text messages away. And now you up here doing this shit again. Hey, you and you like You playing with the nigga league. ARP, how you feel about this? I wanna know how you feel about this. Cause golly. I mean, I know you probably thought you could trust him because he had to know he Yo, he's the first battler to have to have a no freestyle clause in his. Where was the nigga clause? Yo, yo, Adam, where the fuck was his clause? You ain't put his clause in this shit too? You did not put his clause in this shit too? You should have put, he should have, he, he, where's the clause? And then he didn't see you there, so he automatically was like, yeah, I'm getting this one off. The battle was so bad that I didn't even watch it originally. I started getting hit up about it. Bo bo yo, 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 peep this shit, bro. You got to peep. Nah, nigga, you got to recap this shit. Man, fuck what the niggas is talking about. Look at this. They took me off of the. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, man. Shout out to Clips, man. But my nigga, you should not be getting Let's Talk Battle Rap write-ups and having bloggers talk about your battle in this manner, my nigga. No fucking way. But easy. Yo, easy, easy. Get in here, my nigga. We got to rap, man. I got to holler at you. I got to holler at you. Bro, what, the, what you got going on? Why is it that you always involved in some shit? Nah, this is good, though. You dropped a battle yesterday called Tex versus Reese on the trenches. Shout out to the trenches, Johnny Mag, uh, fucking Muslim Poppy, all them niggas over there, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, these niggas, I, I fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was on the live one day, niggas was getting it in. Nah, niggas, shut the fuck up. Nah, listen to my, I like that type of shit. They was thinking like, yo, these niggas got static. I'm like, nah, I fuck with these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Cause they gritty, they grimy, they gutter city. I fuck with them niggas. Yeah, I like talking that shit. Yeah, nigga, what's up? What's up, nigga? What? Yeah, 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 nigga, what the fuck you got going? 
No? Y'all do that New York verse Philly shit again? Holla at a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I like that type of shit. I like the gritty, the gutter environment. And I rock with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to the point, niggas would lie on me for them. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, I don't, I don't rock with them that. I ain't be hanging around the niggas, goddamn. I'm still a blogger. So, they dropped a battle called Text vs. Reese yesterday. When I tell you, this nigga Text was very, very, very impressive. I'm saying this because I want to see this nigga around. Son said he just got out of jail. When the nigga started his round, he started with his, yo, I'm PH. Say go parolee number 253HP. I just want to tell my parole officer, Agent Wolf, whatever you see on this camera today is all cap. <laughs> Shop ucasphilly.com. 458, tell my, tell my PO everything you see here is not, I said, oh shit. I said, yeah, we got one of them niggas. I said, we got one of them. Son, this nigga bars was like the grittiest, guttiest, the nigga had a dicky shirt with a hoodie under. He remind me of Meek Mill with the dirty dreads, like the dirty braids. That's that feeling. Keep this nigga around. He had some moments in there that I just felt like I had to highlight. You boy battle, but you wasn't prepared, bro. Huh? All I spent is jail balls. Really don't care, though. Learned a lot of steak. You should really be scared, ho. Spent a lot of time with the killers comparing up. I know this razor blade, so I'm wearing this dick. There go. Put a new smile on your bed, bro. I'm here, bro. I'm and the way the nigga, the nigga was gangster. I ain't gonna hold you. The nigga was, I'm, I'm up Michigan, won the Big Ten Championship last night. You know, we winning. Ah, uh, uh, niggas can't make me lose in any way, even if the niggas pay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, can't kick it. I don't give a fuck about y'all stage tickets. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You could be right there and I'ma still do more views than you right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't make it friend zone. It's my turn to dance in the end zone. You started it, so I got a part in it. Um, so, and then a nigga said over there that, I don't want to sound like I'm hating, but yeah, I really am hating. I said, oh, now nah, cut it off. Cut this shit. <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> oh, shit. So, the nigga Tex says, the nigga Tex is in his round. He's going crazy. Like, his first round, I felt like he rapped a little fast. But the way he approached me with it, I'm tweeting about the Big Ten Championship. You know, niggas, we win in Michigan. Oh, uh, buffed up. Don't get it fucked up. You know, I said that my glasses off so you niggas can, you know what I'm saying? They be, when it's real, y'all can tell. Y'all can see it in their eyes. It's your turn. Go ahead and see if you can make niggas believe them lies. Nigga, time. So, he getting into some real gritty shit. I'm like, all right, yeah, I like it. I like it. The other cat, his name is Reese, right? No knock on him. I feel like he's a little monotone. He's very monotone, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't really feel, I, he didn't, to me, he didn't seem comfortable in the trenches. I'm be honest with you. The nigga wrapped the whole battle with his jacket on. As soon as the chrome wave, the gun, I got it from scratch. Nigga, it's homemade. Kool-Aid. Out the clip, twin homeless kittens. That nigga getting two strays. But hold on, wait. Homemade Kool-Aid could a nigga sweet in the lemon squeeze. The chop shack where he was. The nigga wrapped the whole battle with his jacket on. He ain't even pull a vet move. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I, like, he's from New York, you know what I'm saying? I'm from New York. I pull up and get ruthless. Six shooters with big Rugers. Oh, we in Philly, this the trenches it feel right at home? Nigga, let's get to it. You ain't even take the coat off. They would have cheered, my nigga. I say, yo, you gotta pull the jerk, pull the shit off. Get to it. Uh -huh. I didn't feel that from you, family. I ain't get that vibe, my nigga. I ain't get that. I'm ready to work. This nigga had his coat on the whole battle. How you in the battle look bottom of the third with your coat on, my nigga? Did, was the car outside running? Did this nigga had a car outside running? I think the nigga car was outside. Was you watching the meter, my nigga? You got to take that coat off and get busy. I can't believe you if you, you know what I mean? I, was the AC on in the trenches? I know it's cold in the trenches, but golly, that's one thing. Another thing, you have some old bars, like your bars, like you rapping about Minute Maid and Kool-Aid and all that shit, my nigga, it's 2023. If Vitafly could think of shit that's more innovative than that, you should too, my nigga. I'm not gonna watch you. I'm not gonna watch nobody who I could think of shit either good as or better than. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to get the attention of the niggas who's really doing this shit. So homeboy text, the nigga jumps in my comments and it's like, at three in the morning, it's like, yo, boom. I see you still up, check this. I said, oh, young nigga, old man, grandpa at the window with the shotgun, I'm looking out like, who the fuck is this on my porch? Young nigga on the porch with the package at three in the morning. I said, right, I respect your delivery, young nigga. Uh, you got your heat on you, I right, keep it tucked. And I did like a hit man, I signed the ball, told that nigga, keep it up. Like, yeah, keep it up, young nigga. Now, nah, for real, he he was pretty tight. In his third round, he got into some shit. I ain't even gonna hold you. That nigga was shooting at top tiers, mid tiers. That nigga, watch the battle. That nigga started dumping. I said, oh. 
Excuse me. So shout out to uh, Gutter City Trenches. I did have him win in the battle 3-0. I'm not gonna lie, I did. I just was every round was just like, oh shit, God, like, die. Now Reese, I'm not taking nothing away from you, but in order to kick it, I'm a high level critic. You know what I'm saying? I, I this is what I do. I don't even talk about niggas. That's y'all first. This is like y'all first battle or some shit. I don't talk about niggas first, first, first battle. If I'm doing that, it's for a reason. I'm on the phone with, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking earlier, Chris Unbiased and shit, you know what I'm saying? We talking about some battle rap shit, woo dee woo dee woo um, You know, niggas who don't do goofy shit, like lie on me, you know what I'm saying? So we, we talking, and we talking about Tex versus Reese. I'm like, yo, why are we talking about a new, 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 new battlers? You know what I mean? So the way that they approach that, the way they got that together is fire. I definitely respect it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, that's the type of shit I'm going to talk about. I ain't going to be up here engaging in goofy shit every day. My nigga SP told me leave it alone, so I'm going to leave it alone. But it is what it is. Other than that, man, uh, salute to all of y'all for watching this. I hope y'all football days go well and y'all parlays hit. I'm out of this bitch. Gang, gang, I don't bang. But Charlie, what in the hell, man? <laughs> I'm ready and willing and able. Nigga made me knock over the table. And I ain't gonna watch your ass for free even if it's on cable. Like, what are you doing, bro? And the league's like, if y'all gonna be booking him every month, you gotta know. You gotta know. You're gonna get some bad work. You know what I'm saying? He been having, and his year ain't even really been, his year only been so-so. The Jazz battle wasn't that great. The Rosenberg battle had the, the bullshit with the text messages in it. The A-War battle was cool. But like, your, your run this year has not been the greatest and now you pull this, oh Lord. I'm gonna get up out of here though, man. Salute to every single one of y'all, man. Um, you can do eight by five, you can do a six by ten. Just know Michigan gonna win. We out this bitch. Hey, J. Tuck, if you want that smoke, you know what time it is, too. You already know. FSU, y'all can get it too. Texas, you can get it too. Washington, you can get it too. Bama, y'all can get it too. My folk vote, make sure all your motherfucking kids don't grow. You niggas can't be us to see us. What the fuck y'all talking about? We out of here. Niggas probably won't admit it, but I paid the way. I did.